Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here, and today I have some information that I forgot to mention. <laughs> I, um, this is about a week old now, and I do apologize for just forgetting to talk about it. I fully intended to, but it's been a madhouse the cat the past week or so with the uh, with the channel and my in, with my uh, real life job. So I apologize it's coming a little bit late, but here we go. This is again, it's from the World Warship Surveillance Blog Facebook page, and we're going to read straight from there, word for word. So here we go. ST, Armor Piercing Rockets. Please note that this information, that the information in the development blog is preliminary and subject to change. Soon there will be a closed test session for attack aircraft carrying armor piercing rockets. Please note that if the results are positive at the end of the test, detailed information about the future usage of this concept will follow. The mechanics of these new armor, of these new rockets are similar to that of armor-piercing shells. The main difference being, just like with armor-piercing bombs, that their armor penetration is not dependent on the distance that they are fired from, but instead a constant value. As per the current concept, these rockets on Tier 10 aircraft carrier squadrons will be close to 203 millimeter armor-piercing shells in terms of efficiency against different classes. Upon hitting destroyers, there will often be over penetrations, and the total damage will be lower than with standard rockets. The new rockets will be most effective against cruisers due to their ability to citadel, to, to hit their citadel and deal significant damage. When attacking battleships, most damage will be dealt with uh, will be dealt when targeting the casemates. The penetration won't be high enough to pass through the citadel's armor belt. So that's um. Yeah, I remember when I first read this, I was like, why? <laughs> why? Why? Why, 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 why? But now, since I've had time to think about it, I mean, I guess I kind of get what they're going for. It also depends on how they're going to implement this. Is it going to be like the AP and HE bombs, where some nations have these AP rockets and some nations have HE rockets, or will the carrier player be able to choose between a AP rocket squadron or an HE rocket squadron kind of like how you used to do in the modules you could select which uh, which type of plane setup you wanted to use or are they going to have the access to both of them in game now my concern is probably what a lot of you guys' concern is and that is citadels on cruisers with rockets with similar performance to two, well similar it's a, it's a similar penetration to 203 millimeter shells. Now you are going through the deck armor most of these ships unless you catch their side. So it also depends who's 200, 203 millimeter shells because there's a big difference between the American 203 millimeter shells and uh, the Japanese 203 millimeter shells. You know, a, a American ha uh, American AP has that improved pin angle. I would not think they would give that to airplanes because that would be, well, terrifying. And I mean, it depends on a lot of stuff that we still do not know. As in, are they going to have, again, the same damage as 203mm guns? Or is they just have the same pin value as 203mm guns and the same pinning ability as 203mm guns? So there's a, a lot that we don't know. But overall, the idea of this isn't that bad. Now, the execution of it, that will determine, you know, how this goes, obviously. So I, I I can get what they're going for, maybe trying to shift some of the damage off of the destroyers and onto the cruisers now with rocket planes. But I mean, honestly, with, even with HE rockets, there's still plenty of times that I do pretty dang good strikes against uh, cruisers. Um, I think in the uh, graph, no, in the top five premium ships that I would not that uh to avoid. There's a clip in there of me playing Graf Zeppelin. I don't have the footage anymore because I deleted uh, the recording off of my computer because, you know, hard drive space. But I, I hit, I think, a Takeo, a Takeo or an Adigo, whatever that anime skin is for Adigo or, or whatever it is. And I did like 7,400 damage to him. And Graf Zeppelin rockets and Enterprise's rockets are even better. So I don't really see how this is necessary besides, you know, shifting some of the damage from that the CVs are farming with the rocket planes from the destroyers to cruisers now. And battleships, I don't think this is really going to matter too much to battleships because, I mean, it, it, shit, what damage don't we <laughs> don't we eat? Um, 
but you know, rocket planes, they've been effective against battleships because they can start fires and stuff. And the AP rockets, I'm guessing, yeah, they may be effective if the area isn't damage saturated. And yeah, they probably will pin the deck armor unless you're like, you know, the Kremlin. <laughs> but. Yeah, I mean, it was, they said it, they won't citadel battleships. That would be a little silly if you do have rocket planes citadeling battleships. And but man, it's just like with the state of CVs and the attitude towards CVs right now, I just you know I'm not sure this is the best thing to be doing war gaming. And again, how is it going to be implemented? We you know we need more information about that before we can really react. You know or. Some carriers going to have AP rockets and some aren't. Uh, is this for a future upcoming carrier line? Although I don't know who who's left to have a... Uh, oh, maybe the um, the odd number... Yeah, wait, weren't, weren't they like planning a... I think they were planning a, a, car a carrier split on the American carriers. I think... I cannot remember where I read that at. I really can't, so I don't even know where to go look for it. But I think they were planning on splitting the American carrier line, so maybe this is for them. Who knows? It may be a British carrier split line, or maybe they're going full paper and just adding in Russian carriers, because, my God, that would be terrifying. And, yeah, they would be the line to get AP rockets that can Citadel cruisers. Um, but, yeah, overall, I'm worried about it, because, you know... It's so much easier to get guaranteed hits with rocket planes than like anything else in the game. They are like the easiest thing you can use to get damp to get constant damage on. So now give them the ability to constantly citadel um, s cruisers. I mean that's kind of rough. And keep in mind this is citadel damage. Only a, a certain percentage of that can be healed upon you know whatever nation you are and whatever heal you have. So. It's not like the rocket planes where, you know, at least after eating a bunch of them, you can at least heal most of that damage back. But with these AP rockets and getting citadels, constant citadels on cruisers, that's a little rough. Now, they did word it a little bit like, if it's successful, if it's successful or if it does well in testing, then we'll, look, then we'll move forward with it and release more information about it. So, maybe they're being a little cautious because they know the backlash that's going to come from this. Um, and I do hope they are cautious. I hope they take their freaking time with this. If they really are implementing something like this into the game. On top of submarines, which apparently have been delayed because the results of the testing weren't, uh, I guess, positive. I forget how, how they word it. There was something along the lines of submarines aren't right right now or something. Or at this time, submarines. Uh, we have decided some reasons haven't uh, haven't performed it well as we expected, or something like that. But apparently, some reasons got pushed back for a while too. Um, but yeah, this is interesting to say the least. But we shall see how this goes down. And considering this this post was released about a week ago, um, they haven't really said anything else about. It. I mean, you know, I'm sure they haven't freaking tested it in just a week or anything. And it wasn't in the any of the recent updates about uh, the test servers or anything. So I don't know what they're doing with it. I know I'm not a CC. I don't get in on any of that stuff. I'm just sharing my thoughts on uh, this current situation with you guys. So that's my opinion on it. You know, I'll be interested to see where this goes. But I hope it doesn't go too far. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe they'll tone down the damage. And I hope that if they, they do, if it does do Citadel damage, it's like freaking tiny. Because, again, just being able to constantly do damage uh, with rocket planes, that's just, that's a lot of, that's a lot of power to give the carriers on top of everything else they can already do. But anyway, I'll keep listening for this and inform you guys of any more updates. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure to come out for the stream tonight right here on this very channel. Um, last week my internet wouldn't cooperate and my internet's company uh, my internet service provider ISP if you want to use the fancy word they're installing fiber optic in my area now and apparently they had to do something with like the lines or something so our download speed still pretty fine but our upload is like atrocious so I will try again to stream tonight last time a uh, stream labs just refused to connect to YouTube or to Twitch so yeah We'll try again tonight, 5 p.m. U.S. Central Time. 
um, come out. And if there's nothing on the channel, just assume that my internet, uh, again, just had a stroke and could not support the upload, uh, sh support the stream. But make sure you come out and at least check, see if we are out here. So, hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a great Friday. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about the AP Rockets and how much you hate them, because I know most of you will. <laughs> but anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great Friday. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.